Sturgis has a number of films that he could share with us if you want uh, to watch those, but I think what is more apt is to have as our background here the man we are honoring today. Yeah. Uh, good morning. Uh, it was a great presentation. Thank you. And um, really, you gave me uh, the opportunity to remember my whole life. Because I was a boy in 19... Um, 86 that I started uh, to be like a male version of Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> um, I was a boy that I didn't know about art, like uh, cultural uh, uh, addicted to the culture. Yeah, culture and uh, I was uh, really a blank, white paper. I was like the mist of the film landscape in the mist, I was like this. So, whoever I met uh, could write on me his letters, his knowledge, his wisdom. If it was good, I could have this stance on my soul uh, from good influence. If, if he was bad, the opposite. So I was blessed. Not lucky, because lucky happens once time in your life, like you win a lottery. Usually you cannot handle the energy that you receive suddenly, and you broke up, like the son of Sun, Phaethon, that took the arms and he destroyed, he died. On the opposite, I had the opportunity to meet magicians, poets, philosophers, me. But I didn't know how to write. I had barely finished my school. And I wanted from five years old boy to, to be an actor, to become an actor, to live on the stage because life was very painful for me. And I was going every night to see in summer theaters the same performance every day. And it was my secret meeting with God, with love, with the silence of my soul. I didn't know that I would meet these people. So in 1986, the summer, I went, I gave examinations to go in Carlos Kuhn Art Theater. I was accepted with two roles. One was Aris from uh, the parade of Lula Nagustaki, and the second role that I gave for examinations was Orestes. I played in the play, Carlos Kuhn died, he was the last emperor of theater there. So I became famous because, uh, not only from this performance, but because the whole Greece respected this saint of theater. So Patelis Wunders came, he told me to play in uh, Striker number nine, who was two. At this time, a lot of good directors, of course, existed. I met uh, my first performance, Magika Goyanis and Irene Papas came. And with um, Magika Goyanis, I had a relationship till now. He was always like my father. And uh, I learned a lot about, and for him, and about him, and from him. I played in a movie, Adelis Bulgaris, because I was in the first uh, class of the school, uh, it was not permitted for students to, to participate in films. I learned a lot of rumors, opposing rumors, about the other guy, whose name was Theo Angelopoulos. <laughs> Contradicting rumors. Other people say, oh, he was a prophet. He is a prophet, he's a poet. He's a, a man who can touch the truth and he can reveal it. Other people said, and a lot of them, out of jealousy, because jealousy, unfortunately, is the one thing that can destroy Greece. And in our mythology, we have this word envy that does not exist in any other mythology of the world. So 
a lot of, uh, no, don't even meet him. He's uh, like a dark person that he doesn't love uh, people. He doesn't love actors. Manos Katrakis in the last film died because of him. <laughs> Terrible things. So I was 31, I said, oh my God, I hope I will never meet him. Of course, God and his silence has a different plan. So one day I learned that Agelopoulos wants to see me. Oh, oh my God, I, I felt like I, I, would, I, I have to go and see a monster. I went to his, this modest, office in Exarchia, uh, because I was waiting, he had won a lot of uh, prizes, so I, I was waiting, being rich in a huge office like Hollywood here, so I went there, it was a very modest office, dark, and uh, I opened the door and I saw this head with a hand. I, I go in, silence, oh my God. <laughs> Sit down, Stratos. I didn't see his eyes first. So we spoke about five minutes without me, without me seeing in his eyes. I couldn't, you know, he was like this, speaking. I remember the monks that uh, I have seen only in movies, because later on I went to Ayors and I see the same, the, the same, same figures. Uh, these figures is like out of a dream, like they are coming uh, from a Gelopoulos film, suddenly they appear, they see something, they, they open a side in, inside your heart, inside your memory, and they reveal something. And they don't dominate you, they, do, they, they don't teach you, they just are alive. We spoke, I told him, sorry, I cannot do your film. Uh, to play Orestes. Why? Because uh, uh, I have to gain uh, 35 kilos because I'm playing in uh, Padelis Bungar's film and uh, at the last uh, part of the film I have to be like uh, Robert De Niro in Raging Bull, the same fat, so I cannot. <laughs> he told me, you know something? Uh, cinema doesn't know obstacles. <laughs> I said, what can I do? Okay, I will wait for you, I will not go to Cannes Festival with this movie, because this movie is not about prizes or about, it's about, devoted to my children, and I want you to be Orestes. So, I think we are ideal, I don't want to speak about myself, he told me something about what he saw to me, and he told me, I'm waiting, I will send you in hospital afterwards, when you gain 35 kilos, you will lose them, and you will play, and I will wait for you. <laughs> Theo Agelopoulos, waiting for me in 1987. I told him I don't really know how to express something that I saw to you because I didn't know any of his films till then. Of course, I didn't know the traveling players that I was going to play Orestes. And I told him, you know, your passion convinced me because this passion is not out of desire of a human being, but is something from above that controls you and you share it so generously with, with people. I don't care if you will put me on the edge of a steep of a mountain being there for you because you have, you are so passionate about everything. I finished the film and we started rehearsals. And the first thing in the script of Landscape in the Mist, it was this. Who, if I cried out, would hear me among the angels hierarchies? And even if one of them pressed me suddenly against his heart, I would be consumed in that overwhelming existence. For beauty is nothing but the beginning of terror, <laughs> which we are still just able to endure. And we are so old because it certainly disdains 
flagellate us. This was the first rehearsal. It was written in front of the script, before the script starts. These words I remembered when I, before the first shooting in Tricala, uh, in Garena, sorry. I was in Larissa playing the football player, uh, trying to put goal, and the next day, during the afternoon, and the next day I had to be 8 o'clock, very far away uh, from uh, there that I was playing there, uh, to go to Yanina. So it was snowing, a lot of snow, all the roads were closed, and I just, like Peter Pan, like uh, Tom Sawyer, to find where is, uh, where is Yanina and where is the shooting, and uh, I had told Theodore, I will come no matter what, no matter what. So I started going, I, I tried to find a taxi. No taxi exists because they told me we cannot drive through the mountains with such snow. I had a, a cassette with uh, Hachidaki's music, The Smile of Zoponda. I was listening, I was praying in my own words, and I was in the midst, in the middle of mountains, Covered with snow, waiting, I don't know. <laughs> Suddenly, a truck appeared. I did not stop. Thick darkness, thick. I was a little bit afraid because I had learned that maybe like the truck driver <laughs> raped the girl. I didn't know. <laughs> okay, I have read the script. But I was a little bit afraid that something bad maybe would happen. But I knew instinctively that... Before dawn, always exists the thickest darkness. So I was waiting and I was sure that I will go no matter what. Second track passed, third track. I did not stop. I was tired, three o'clock night. I have, I have only five hours. So the third track driver stopped. He, he put me in. He told me, where are you going? I'm going to Yan and I have a film. I have to be there. Okay, I'm going to the same way. And when I listened to this, I, uh, I fainted out. You know, I slept. During the night, because I was afraid also, I was waking up and I saw the crest of the mountain snowing. And I was remembering this all the time. For beauty is nothing but the beginning of terror. <laughs> Eight o'clock in the morning, I went to the shooting. He showed me the motorcycle, that I have to be arrested in the motorcycle. <laughs> and um, I played the first scene. Second day, ah, sorry, I have to tell you that the first two roles, uh, in, uh, uh, striker with number nine in Agilopoulos field, uh, I had to have some abilities. In the first movie, I had to know how to play football. In the second, I have to know how to drive a car. When they told me that uh, I have to be the leading role there, of course, I told both of them the same lie. Yes, I know football, and yes, I know how to drive. Of course, I didn't know football, I didn't know how to drive. But in the first film, when a Bulgarian discovered that I didn't know how to play football, he put me five months, and I learned at the end. In a Gelopoulos film, because it happened very quickly, I learned two days before. I told to my wife then, uh, can you teach me how to drive uh, the Sevos car? Uh, how to drive. She told me yes, so I took uh, the car, I went to others. After that, I told him, can you park it because I don't know. <laughs> With this knowledge, I went to this. <laughs> and they gave me a truck. Oh. <laughs> Very old, 60s. Oh my God, I didn't know really how to drive. But the first day, so I had this difficulty. So I went uh, to Yorgo Savanitz, the director of photography, I told him, uh, you know, this uh, car is uh, very old. I don't know if I will put it because Agelopoulos wanted exactly that. Uh, he told me, you have to do this, 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 and you have to stop there. <laughs> okay, I did it. God helped me the second time during the night and then. The third day was something terrible. And sorry because of my English, if I, you don't understand well, or I, I say a lot of words in order to express something very simple. Uh, forgive me for that. The, se the th second day I was in the truck play playing my role and I had to drive and playing together. Ten minutes every shot. 
and the kids back 